Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about Achilles tendinopathy or tendinitis, as well as Achilles tendon rupture. The Achilles tendon is the largest tendon in the body. The gastrocnemius and soleus muscles, which are highly important for walking, running, and impact activities, fuse to form the Achilles tendon. The tendon needs to withstand up to eight times the body weight in force when undertaking sporting activities, and injuries to the Achilles tendon are common. Achilles tendinopathy or tendinitis is an overuse injury from excessive stress on the tendon. Acute rupture of the Achilles tendon can also occur either in intense sporting activities or in the elderly following chronic tendon pain. The Achilles tendon has a capacity to resist large tensile forces and is the largest tendon in the body. It stems from the distal joining of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscle and inserts at the bottom of the calcaneus, which is a bone. Contraction of the gastrocnemius, soleus, and then subsequently the Achilles tendon is involved, along with the actions of the tibialis posterior and peroneus longus and brevis, causes the foot to plantar flex. So the Achilles tendon has a role in plantar flexion. A peritendinous sheath of connective tissue allows the tendon to slide relative to the surrounding tissue. Mechanism of Achilles tendinopathy or tendinitis. Acute Achilles tendon pain generally develops when athletes abruptly increase their activity, causing micro trauma to the tendon itself. Without adequate healing time, tendinopathy progresses with recurrent microtrauma and degeneration of the Achilles tendon, and at which stage the tendinopathy is chronic. Damaged tendon becomes calcified, thickened, inelastic, and fibrotic. Other risk factors of Achilles tendinopathy include cold weather, foot misalignment, poor running mechanics, inappropriate footwear weakness in plantar flexion, and leg length discrepancy. Acute rupture of the Achilles tendon occurs when a sudden shear stress is applied to an already weakened or degenerative tendon. Achilles tendinopathy usually occurs in athletes who increases their training beyond their tendon's ability to heal the microtrauma from repetitive stress. Typically, they complain of pain or stiffness two to six centimeters above the posterior calcaneus. The pain is usually described as burning. The pain is worse with activity and may be relieved after a short period of rest. Patients with tendinopathy typically have localized tenderness, again, two to six centimeters above the posterior calcaneus. Chronic Achilles tendinopathy, there may be thickening of the actual tendon itself. An acute Achilles tendon rupture can occur with the following risk factors. If they have pre existing Achilles tendinopathy, they use medications such as fluoroquinolones or glucocorticoids, and they have autoimmune disorders such as psoriasis and ankylosing spondylitis. Acute tendon rupture occurs when sudden forces are exerted upon the Achilles tendon during strenuous physical activities that involves sudden pivoting on the foot or rapid acceleration, typically when a patient is pushing off with their feet, such as stop-and-go sports like tennis, basketball, or softball. People with acute Achilles rupture feel as if they were struck violently in the back of the ankle. Some hear a pop and experience severe acute pain, although the absence of pain does not rule out a rupture. Most pain in tendon ruptures occur where the blood supply of the gastrocnemius soleus muscle complex is porous, which again is that area 2-6 to six centimeters above the insertion point.
the clinical examination of an acute Achilles tendon rupture. First, there's loss of tendon definition. And in the acute setting, there might be bruising and swelling of the area. The calf squeeze or Thompson test provides an accurate means for detecting complete Achilles tendon rupture. The test is performed with the patient either lying prone with their feet hanging off the end of the examination table or if they kneel on a chair. The clinician squeezes the gastrocnemius muscle belly while watching for plantar flexion. The absence of plantar flexion when squeezing the gastrocnemius muscle marks a positive test, indicative of rupture. And remember, this is because the Achilles tendon plays a role in plantar flexion. The differential diagnosis of an Achilles tendinopathy or Achilles tendon rupture include ankle sprain. Ankle sprains occur with landing, whereas acute Achilles problem occurs when taking off, typically. Calcaneal brusitis and calcaneal apophysitis. Diagnosis of Achilles tendinopathy is based on history and examination. Imaging is generally not necessary except to rule out other conditions such as a fracture or to confirm Achilles tendon rupture with an ultrasound. Treatment. In acute tendinopathy, it's important to avoid aggravating activities, apply ice when symptomatic, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, support the Achilles tendon with a heel lift, approximately 12 mm rise and also using elastic bandages or taping as needed. It's important to slowly return to exercise or rehabilitation. In chronic tendinopathy, injection therapies might be used, such as glucocorticoid injection, platelet-rich plasma injection, and autologous blood injections. Other treatments for chronic tendinopathy include extracorporeal shockwave therapy, dry needling, and taping and heel support. Treatment of acute tendon rupture of the Achilles tendon is either surgical or non-surgical, and the area is controversial. Typically, surgery is used for athletes, whereas non-surgical approaches are for inactive patients, such as the elderly. And other treatment is really resting and possibility of injection therapy, as mentioned. Complications of Achilles tendon rupture is typically re-injury, whether it's tendinopathy or Achilles tendon rupture, as well as thromboembolism. So in summary, the Achilles tendon is the largest tendon in the body and is a common site of injury. The two important injuries are Achilles tendinopathy, tendonitis, from overuse injury, and Achilles tendon rupture. Thank you for watching.